The coolest part about my job is I work on radars that control the weapons on Navy ships. I work at the dockyard for FMF Cape Scott. I'm an electronic system specialist and I work on radars on Navy ships. I do preventative and corrective maintenance on the electronic equipment on the radars. I use schematics to troubleshoot and I use multimeters, oscilloscopes, function generators and all kinds of test equipment. Every day is a different job. Most of the work is done on the ship. We uh, could be working outside in, the, in a snowstorm, it could be a hot sunny day like today. Every day is a different job. I worked in retail for many years. I worked management, I worked my butt off, and nobody was thankful. The customer wasn't thankful, and the management wasn't thankful, and you worked really, really hard for very little money. I decided to take a trade. I went to NSCC, and I took a, a walk around, and decided the electronic lab was the cleanest, so that's the one I chose. <laughs> and I knew that I didn't want just a job, I wanted a career. And so this has been a, a wonderful opportunity. I went back to NSCC and took electronics for two years. I was hired here, I've been working six years, and it's an absolutely amazing place to work. It's been the best decision ever. I love my job. I get to do all the fun stuff, and I still get to be girly. <laughs> The thing that I like the least about my job is that I have to wear steel toe boots and a hard hat every day, but I make the most of it and I wear pink. The best part about my job is that my work is very community involved. They support me being involved in tech exploration, adopt a family, we do great things for the community, and it's a fabulous place to work. If you become an electronic engineer, you can work in an industrial plant, you could work in a factory, you could do electronic repair, you could specialize in microprocessing and work in assembly lines, or you could work in D&D. My advice to girls is to stay in school and keep your sciences and maths. Anybody can teach themselves history by reading a book, but it's really tough to teach yourself chemistry.